Well, good evening, everybody. Time to make a start on some hymns. Sunday evening. Once again, it comes around so quickly. Now, I am hoping that uh, you can hear me speaking properly this time. And I've tweaked things yet again. So let's hope I've been successful. Oh, how blessed the hour, Lord Jesus, when we can to thee draw near. I'm not actually going to play for a whole hour this evening, but um, I thought I would start with this hymn this evening. A text by a German, Karl Johann Philipp Spitter, uh, translated by Richard Massey, or Massey, and the tune by J.B. Dykes, John uh, Bacchus Dykes. St Oswald Sorry, I just went and checked on the technology. The phone went for some reason, uh, just in case you couldn't hear anything, but I gather it's clear and great. So that's encouraging. Uh, when I'm sort of on my own, I can only sort of check here. And, um, and hope Yes, that will be fine. Fine. Well, sounds fine. <laughs> sounds okay here. 
but I do sort of test recording and then play it back to myself. So, we come unto our Father's God. This was a request from my uncle down at Point, and um, I'm more than happy to play it. Let me just check to see who rang. the secretary of the Cornwall Organists Association. I had in my uh, diary yesterday to uh, play down at St Hilary, something I was looking forward to with, uh, a, I was going to say a lifetime colleague, but uh, David Ball, who is the organist at St Hilary, also plays on the Mount and um, uh, I can never remember the name of the church that begin with P. I want to say it's not Port Curnow, but Pen. Bleh. Anyway, and um, we were going to the Cornwall Organist Association sort of meets once a month in various places around the county, and we go and play uh, organs and uh, have a really quite a nice time actually all together. Uh, the teas uh, go down very well uh, with the organists. Uh, but we've not been able to do that. Uh, but yesterday we should have been down in St Hilary at David's Church and we'd sort of planned to do something a little bit different from just having solely organ. We usually have an organ recital and then something a bit different. So we were going to do some Handel organ concertos and I was really looking forward to that. David used to conduct Penzance Orchestral Society, a very good musician, um, plays the oboe, plays viola. You will have seen if you've been to our Christmas carol service in Truro Methodist, then he was there playing viola. He's a man of uh, many talents and he taught at Retro School. Would you believe he was one, he was a, uh, a teacher governor and he was one of the people that appointed me to uh, work at Retro School. Uh, so we've known each other a long time. So um, we would have been playing at St Hilary, or I would have been playing, along with David with the orchestra. So, um, anyway, we come unto our Father's God.
favorite German tune. Wittenberg, 1535. So, 658 now. And I was, um, when I was looking at this here, I thought, I can't remember the, I can't actually remember the last time I played this hymn. I played the tune Orders Gate Street by Horner, but I, I can't remember the last time I played uh, these words. Um, so um, here we go then. Words by, or uh, the 20th century words by Derek Farrow. Um, so whether they're in the new in book or not, I don't know. So here we go, that mighty resurrected word. hymns this evening I've taken from uh, the, the Methodist hymn book, Hymns and Psalms, and I, I, I know for some of you Margaret was saying it's going to be a learning curve. Uh, if you don't have hymns and psalms of course then it's a, a little bit of a, a problem, but hopefully you'll be able to find the words on the internet. They may not exactly be the same as the ones that I'm playing, but uh, Hopefully, we'll get there. So send in some more requests from any hymn book, any any words anywhere. But, uh, 
mine in the slightest, uh, you know, playing. And it's good to, for me to be playing things that, uh, um, that, that, you, that, you, that you want and that you know. So like I said, I've had three uh, requests this evening. I'm, I'm reminded that on um, uh, Thursday, um, Colin, I know Colin Williams um, from Three Milestone uh, sent me a, a, a request and um, we had 255. The tune was written by George Elvia. I'll, I'll tell you this again, um, but when I, it just so happens that uh, the tune St George's Windsor by George Alvey is next door to um, this tune 356 Wareham which I'm just about to, to play and I didn't give you this information about George um, Alvey we'll have come ye thankful people come at harvest time and more about that perhaps later George Alvey then started as a chorister in Canterbury Cathedral and when older became a composer whose principal patron was Prince Albert, him of the Royal Albert Hall of Fame and Victorian Hall of He wrote music for many royal occasions. This is uh, really quite interesting. Well, this is a little bit. He married four times, three wives died, and the fourth survived him. So that's George Alvey. They say variety is the spice of life, don't they? So um, anyway back on with the hymns um, great god we sing that mighty hand by which support is still we sa stand thy, the opening year thy mercy shows and mercy crowns it till it close i know this is, it could be a, a sort of start of the year but if you remember them the methodists start their methodist new year in september um, so um you can interpret the year to be January the 1st onwards or September whenever the new Methodist year starts. Great God, we sing that mighty hand.
the words of verse 2, particularly by day, by night, at home, abroad. Um, all the disruption that's been caused from not being allowed to travel here, there and everywhere. Uh, some friends were hoping to go to Greece. I don't know if they've gotten there. There were some islands, uh, Greek islands, that were uh, COVID free and it was no problem to go there. So I do hope that they've managed to get away for a little bit of a break. I chose the next hymn because uh, we've had some quite sort of bold ones and this is perhaps a little more gentler in, in style. Uh, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see our God. Words by John Keeble for verses 1 and 3 and then whole psalms and hymns verses 2 and 4. So you know, put together, I suppose, and then the tune is by um, Havergal. There's several tunes in the book by Havergal. I can't quite another another one. I can't think of one that comes to mind, but it's uh, adapted from a tune by somebody else. In any case, another German tune by the looks of things. Um, so, blessed are the pure in heart. Uh, slightly sort of gentler in character. Let's be gentler in character. So we come to our last hymn for this evening, 641. Now we're getting into the time of harvest festivals. And this next tune actually, um, our Heda Nos Welsh tune, um, we do associate with a harvest hymn, but I'm using it this evening as a sort of evening hymn to conclude our session. So harvest is coming up and harvest won't be the same, will it, this year? The um, chance to celebrate harvest. Uh, I know I've been out with the choir to celebrate harvest at Short Lane's End uh, and Allet. I didn't actually go to, to Allet, but I heard great stories about it uh, with the auction. I know we had a, a when I was at the Short Lane's End, we had a, a great fun at the um, uh, 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 the auction afterwards. I haven't been to many, so it was a bit of a new experience, lots of fun. And uh, and, and uh, when the choir went to Allard and sang, I wasn't able to go. I, I, I can't remember what was the matter with me, 
or the poor you or something and um, it took Carolyn Craig uh, who was organ scholar at the cathedral very kindly came and stepped in and it was certainly an experience for her having been sort of uh, had all the sort of um, Cornish experienced Cornwall uh, in so many uh, so many varieties and so many ways um, was a lovely character and a great organist and uh, worked at the cathedral stunning uh, a stunning uh, performer and um, and a lovely person she 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 happily stepped in to uh, accompany the church choir across there uh, Alla and had lots of fun so we won't be doing half as for like we belong to do it I don't think um, and it's always that time we want to have a good sing so we can have or you can have a good sing and I can have a good blast here and I've enlisted the help of uh, Angela and Andrew Richards in um, putting together a selection of hymns and um, Angela said we're going to miss singing the hymns so I said, well, yes, we are. So I said, well, why don't you put together a list? So we'll have all sorts of harvest hymns. Uh, we must have bringing in the sheaves and things like that, mustn't we? Um, uh, I remember something, somebody saying to me uh, in the choir, what are we going to sing at, uh, at Harvest Festival? I said, oh, bringing in the sheaves, just a sort of bit tongue in cheek. But in actual fact, I did do an arrangement of uh, I wrote a piece and then put bringing in the sheaves in the middle so um, there we are anyway I digress so uh, keep your requests coming in and if you want to contribute to harvest then please do it be over two or three sessions I think because there's quite a lot of harvest hymns and of course Mr Mr Elvy who wrote that tune who had four wives uh, three of which died and one succeeded him so um or survived him rather so harvest is coming up and uh, i know farmers are getting on and getting things done uh, i gather some of the yield hasn't been particularly great i uh, had a message from my friend richard who's been doing some combining and said he was going he, did he say he did two and a half acres in an hour which is quite a lot um quite speedy you'll have to take my word for that uh, quite speedy because the, the crop wasn't very great so who knows what the knock-on effect all of that will be and uh, all the rest of it so I hope you're all set for tomorrow with the new Covid regulations I don't suppose it'll make a lot of difference to many of us um, just keep doing what we do and stay safe so God that made us earth and heaven darkness and light who the day for toil has who the day for toil has given for rest uh, the night
sleep well take care i'll be back on thursday uh gonna be it'll be a recorded program on thursday uh, another, another zoom meeting to attend but uh there will be a recording up for you sleep well good night god bless